live from the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, it's the Dave Ramsey Show, where debt is dumb, cash is king, and the paid-off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. Your life is an adventure. Emotionally, you've just been through the ringer. You're not afraid of hard work, and you have no debt. Everything paid for. A very, very well done. You did the hard work, and you've done so good. You know when you've had it. And something has to happen inside of you. Slow and steady. Live on less than you make. Believe that it can happen. It does happen every day in America. You are the answer. God's blessings pouring to and through you are the answer. Most of the time when someone comes on to do a debt-free scream, I really have no idea what they're going to say. But this story is one that's been going around this building for a while. So this is a debt-free scream we all have been anticipating. James and Kaylee are with us in the lobby of Ramsey Solutions. Hey, guys, how are you? Better, Better than, than we deserve. deserve. Hey, how are you? I love it. <laughs> So, uh, where do you guys live now? Well, we're from Temecula, California, but we are currently living in John Day, Oregon, for free with my parents while we save money, because we just got back to the States, so you'll hear about that. Got it. Very cool. How much debt have you paid off? $20,175.88. And how long did that take you? A year. Okay. Yeah. And your range of income during that time? Thirty six thousand dollars. Okay. What kind of debt was the twenty thousand? Well, um, the first thing we went into debt for is a little embarrassing. Two thousand dollars for a Kirby vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, then we had five thousand dollars on a credit card and thirteen thousand on a car. Gotcha. Okay. So tell us the story. Okay, so in June of 2015, we took Financial Peace University for the first time and we just jumped in. We were just kind of immediately obsessed with this idea of becoming debt free and learning how to win at life. So we just started um, with our $1,000 emergency fund and then we just started um, the debt snowball, started with the Kirby. Step by <laughs> step. Um, we yeah. then paid off the credit card. Mm -hmm. That was very exciting. When you pay off these things, mm -hmm. you own them. And mm -hmm. I mean, and it's an incredible feeling that you don't even know until it's happening to yeah. you. So our reward for paying off our credit card was we got tattoos that say live like no one else and underneath there's a reflection that says give like no one else. Love it. And anytime we wanted to make a purchase or reach our arm out, <laughs> it was right there like no, do you, you want to live like no one else, right? Um, so yeah, and then during that time we also taught FPU through our church. Mm -hmm. That was so fun. Mm -hmm. um, we also went to the SMART Conference in 2016 and if anyone, if you have not been to the SMART Conference, do you got to get your tickets now we actually since we were becoming debt free we saved up our change our coins and we went to the bank and we bought our tickets uh using coins mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, fun yep. yeah so um then we paid off our car we really hit that one hard 13 the past in five months yeah yeah, yeah. okay uh -huh. so the debt is gone the debt and is then gone. the story really begins <laughs> right so yeah so what happened was the same month we became debt free we saw our daughter's picture for the first time and um we actually had the opportunity to pay the last five hundred dollars on our car or the first five hundred dollars to start the to like enter the adoption yeah. program and and we said, you know what? God's got us this far. We got to just follow through. We got to pay off the car. And miraculously, that same month, there was an extra $500 that came in. So we did both. So we mm -hmm. were able to yeah. do both. And um, so then all of the money that we had been piling on from debt 
you know, just went straight over to the adoption. And we said, God, I don't know how we're going to do this because all we had was our thousand mm-hmm. dollars. And this is going to be a 26 plus thousand mm. dollar thing. And we said, okay, you're going to, you know, the, you've opened this door. It's obvious you want us to step through it. So you're going to have to provide for us. And he did, uh, mm-hmm. every step of the way. So in November, we, of 2016, we got on a plane and at this point we still owed $10,000 to the adoption agency and people were calling us a little crazy. Like, what are you doing? You're going over to a third world country. <laughs> better open a credit card. Yeah. You got you better have a plan B yeah. lined up. And we said, no, no, not for us. No way. Like yeah. the God is going to have to come through for us so much more. Like we don't, we don't want something to fall back on. Like we, you know, it, we didn't, it was just an absolute absolute no. <laughs> um, so we jumped on the plane and we went, we expected to be in Ghana for six weeks mm-hmm. and that turned into 590 days. Whoa! And <laughs> during that time, um, we, uh, we landed there together and James spent two weeks there, but then he actually had to fly back to California to work, mm. to support us. And so I lived in this rural village with Wella for six months. We lived Why apart. Why did it take so long? Well, because they changed all the adoption laws while we were over there. Oh, that's they got <laughs> they got and a the new president. Yeah. There was we just kind of got stuck, you know, and mm-hmm. it was so hard, but it taught us so much. I mean, we had to wake up every day and choose joy, choose to surrender. Um, and we had actually right before we had left, we had launched our little tiny coffee company, and so that was also kind of helping us with um, covering the cost of our living expenses. Put food on the table. Yeah. Right. Beans. Mm-hmm. So then after six months went by, the Tim Tebow Foundation contacted us and said they wanted to give us a grant for $8,000. Wow. And that was just an amazing miracle. And so James was able to come back to Ghana because at that point we had enough in our savings account. Um, and But we could only afford for him to stay for four months. Mm-hmm. Um, so he came back and the four months go by and we're like, what do we sell? <laughs> That's what mm. Dave says. <laughs> okay, Eat well, we car, don't have... Sell the car. Yeah, we didn't have anything yeah. except our car. And it was, like, really, like, kind of emotional to, like, okay, you know, but we got to do it. So we did it, and we made $7,200, and that supported us for, like, the the last, like, six months that we were there, and then also paid for our plane tickets home. And yeah. if we would not have been debt-free, we would never have been able to live over there. If we would have had car payments, like, it would have literally been impossible. So because we followed this plan, we were able to live in Ghana together as a family um, for 590 days and then come home with our daughter, and we just got home uh, three months ago. Wow. And um, while we were over there, it's hard because you're just waiting. You're waiting for the phone call. You're waiting for the email. And it's hard to go through every day like that. And so we just decided to just learn as much as we can. Um, we've read books. We've, uh, <laughs> yeah, we've read Entree Leadership four times. And I just want to tell <laughs> anyone who's listening, um, if you uh, have taken FPU and you're on that path, that is so awesome. But I got to tell you, you are scraping the surface. There is so much more to offer. If you go to Dave Ramsey's website, I think y'all know how to okay, get there. Yeah, enough with the ad. All right. You guys, you guys are incredible. That's so fun. Thank what a you. crazy story. Yeah. Yeah. And what a wonderful story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the, I, the, the fact that you were completely debt free and then mm-hmm. actually sold the car, which was paid for. Yes. Uh, got you through the whole process and you were able to stay mm-hmm. long enough and, and yes. outweigh the bureaucrats. That's well, right. And, you know. and now, now that we're home, we're able to start giving back and we're just doing that through our little tiny business that we have followed through Dave's um, plan and we just have grown and we became nationwide just a little over five months ago and um, we are able to help other adoptive families now bring their kids home and right now we're actually supporting a family right here in Nashville and we're helping them bring their kids home from Madagascar. Wow. Yeah. How fun. You guys are fun. <laughs> How old are you two? Um, I'm 28. I'm 26. So what is your household income nowadays? Well, um, I, I, <laughs> that's a great question. We ha- It varies because we do a little bit of graphic design work on the side. Mm-hmm. The coffee um, varies a little bit. And right now we're managing a little coffee shop while we practice for our dream of opening up our own coffee shop gotcha. in Temecula, California. Well, let's, so. get, let's get Wella into the camera right, shop. She's got to be there when you do the debt-free scream for sure in this. She's a cute. 
cutie. I got to meet her at the commercial break a while ago. What an incredible, incredible story. All right, it's James and Kaylee and Wella. We're going to do our test. The San Diego area, Oregon area, Africa area. I mean, wherever <laughs> we want to find these people, we can find them. $20,000 paid off in one year, but that's just the tip of the story. Did that and uh, making 36000 a year and opened up their whole world. I'm so proud of y'all. Well done. I'm honored to Thank know you. you. Thank Count you. Count it down. Let's hear a great debt-free scream. Okay, well, are you ready to do our debt-free scream? Okay, go ahead. One, two, three. We're debt-free! I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Well done, you guys. Very, very well done. Hey. What would you do? What dream would you live if you didn't have payments? Maybe that one's not your dream. Maybe that is your dream. Maybe you're crying right now at that story. Well, then let's get moving, kiddo. I'll walk with you. You can do this. Thank you.